So rapper Cardi B is taking some slights at Candace Owens over the topic of prawn. I'm sure you guys can understand what I'm talking about when I say prawn, okay? I have to censor it. So this whole ordeal between the two starts on Twitter, where Candace Owens says, ban pornography. It's a psychological weapon intended to weaken our men. Candace continues by saying, pornography was created as a tool of enslavement, not freedom. It was created by the most depraved among our human race to psychologically introduce homosexuality, pedophilia, and incest religious sacraments to Satanists. Ban it and stigmatize every person who defends or profits from it. I also want to say to the men that struggle with pornography, you are the intended victims of it. Don't feel ashamed talking about it. Knowing that it's wrong is a great first step. There are a ton of podcasters who work in this space and can help. Matt Frad of Pints with Aquinas is one of them. Matt Frad being this YouTuber whose bio says, long form discussions, debates, and teachings on the Catholic faith. So anyway, we get those statements from Candace Owens, and now Cardi B has made a response to this. As she says on Twitter, Oh my god, why y'all so against porn? Is it that bad for y'all? I enjoy it, but I don't know. I guess is like a six time a year thing. I personally don't feel no connection or addiction to it. Just a little quick one too. Nothing like real intimacy. Nothing like grammar either. What the fuck am I reading? Then she continues by saying how. It actually should teach men how to please a woman. So heading over to the reply section, we see one person saying, isn't Cardi B the same girl who drugged men? Oh my god, <laughs> there's a lot of evidence that she did. Wouldn't take advice from a stripper that drugged men. Another user said, I mean, she's not wrong. All right, folks, so I put this up in the corner so we can do a little recap to see how I feel about this whole situation. So Cardi starts by saying, why y'all so against porn? Is it that bad for y'all? So what I think is, like if one is able to do it in moderation, then yeah, I don't really see the problem with it. Cardi B saying she doesn't feel no connection or addiction, uh, saying it's nothing like real intimacy. Now this part is kind of silly because it's like, not everybody's gonna feel the same way. Like there's some people out there who probably have really chronic addictions to porn and it probably does affect their life, especially their love life. It probably keeps them cooped inside. Like there is those type of people where they just beat the meat all day and they could be doing more productive stuff stuff and then she says it teaches men how to please a woman uh, yeah no that's like saying i watched a video on how to drive now i can go drift down the highway there's nothing that's ever going to be quite like being in the driver's seat and actually getting used to doing things. And you know, personally, I don't watch prawn. It's never been my thing and I don't really judge anybody for watching it, but everything always looks so dramatized and ridiculous. Everything had to be like pin her against the wall. <laughs> And listen, just to recap, I do think there's people out there with prawn addiction problems, but there's also a lot of people out there who enjoy it that live a happy and healthy life. So reading Candace Owens tweet saying, ban it and saying it's a tool of enslavement as if this is just a fact, like the industry, they just wanted to enslave everybody. They wanted to control them. These are the type of buzzwords that in my opinion are really grifty. You see nowadays online, it's like the whole thing is worship God. Like I think Candace Owens just jumped on the bandwagon like everybody else, like the Tates and all that stuff. And to say it's psychologically introduced homosexuality, are you serious? Are we really in 2024 still thinking that being gay is a choice? <laughs> and then we go on to see pedophilia and incest. This is not the entire population. Like these are probably sectors of prawn online that sickos watch. And then we see the whole Satanist thing. Like didn't we used to clown on people like parents who said, this is the devil's music. Just my issue with Candace is she's always on the complete extreme side of everything. Like she could easily tone it back and say, porn isn't across the board good for people there is people out there who have addictions and problems with it just to say that it's just flat out the devil ban it like i don't know those are my thoughts you don't have to agree with it but anyway folks that is the news for today thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys think of this video in the comments below and you guys know the drill ta-ta for now <laughs>